We have new details in the South Strand where some folks could soon be seeing new neighbors. Yeah, this is after part of a plan shaping how the Georgetown community will look up past and it passed last night. Yep, got that green light. That is where we find our Ashley Listrom. So Ashley, this plan has actually been pretty controversial. Eric Rachel, Georgetown County's land use element of their comprehensive plan has really been a topic of debate for several years. But tonight, many folks are left with mixed emotions after it passed its third and final reading last night. I'm just concerned as a resident. We're not always going to agree on everything ever, but let's be reasonable. Some folks frustrate it. Others say they're satisfied as a controversial land use plan passed its third and final reading. It's a said and done deal now. The land use element is just one of the many elements in the county's comprehensive plan, a plan that has to be updated every 10 years. Now that this element has the green light, the county can use it to help with goals and guide them on where to put development, potentially meaning new homes across the Waccamaw Neck, Highway 17 corridor, and Merle inlet. It just makes sense if you think of the community of, as a whole instead of not in my backyard. Um, yes, in my backyard. During previous county council meetings, some community members got heated, but now many advocates say their community needs to put their differences aside and pull together. Let's have a little trust. Let's have a little conversation. Let's get it done, but let's make sure it's right. And as the plan progresses, let's be thoughtful, let's be kind, and let's look toward the future. Several community members tell me they are going to try and amend the plan. Live in, live in Georgetown County, Ashley Listrom, WMBF News.